to the video where I leave a dresser on the back porch for four months and then decide to dust off one day and repaint it. Now, if you're like me, you like to save money. And if you want to save money, buy broken furniture because broken furniture is always cheaper than non-broken. At least in my experience. Look how broken this one is. If this guy wanted $10 for it, I said, will you take five? He said, yes. But he didn't help me load in the car. Next, take your almost broken sander. Actually, it is broken, but use it anyway and sand your little heart out. And ignore the fact that you do a terrible job because this sander is really hard to use. Also, instead of fixing it properly, take shortcuts and use popsicle sticks to prop up your drawers to even it out instead of removing them. Then, use your favorite deck screws which you bought for full price at the hardware store because sometimes you feel rich. Plus, the bit is rose gold and we love that in life. And finish it up with some mm, delicious looking wood filler. Is there anything more satisfying than stirring a brand new container? And if you're not like me, go ahead and wash your dresser. You want to see something really frustrating? Look how these handles fit in here. Oh wait, we are at that part of the video. Never mind. Feel free to remove any pair of Lightning McQueen underwear that you don't want and vacuum around it. Next, because you don't like your sander anymore and you want to punish yourself, feel free to hand sand or scratch your dresser until it feels like Just scratch, scratch, scratch. You could even use your nails if you wanted to. For the record, somebody bought this and they loved it, so don't mind my sanding job. And if you didn't hate yourself enough, get down on your knees, girl, and scratch, 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 See, isn't that frustrating? Oh well. I guess we'll just have to get out more of that delicious wood filler and fill these little holes up. And for some reason you decided to go back for a sander, but honestly, it was just so long ago, I don't even remember what I was thinking. Just scratch, scratch, scratch. Making eye contact with the camera can be a fun pastime when you're sanding. I'm sorry, this is vacuuming. <laughs> what was I thinking? Next, challenge yourself to use the last bit of a dried out container of primer and see what you can get on there. Is it frustrating? Of course it is. But do you not throw away hard earned primer? Yes. Also, using a screw to open the holes is really helpful. And also the drawers didn't come out for real, so that's why I didn't take them out, otherwise I would have, because it was really hard to get on the sides. After your very um, <laughs> splotchy job on the primer, you do an even splotchier job on the first coat of paint, but don't kill yourself over it because this paint takes at least three coats. And dark colors be like that. Why? I don't know. I'm not smart. Again, this turns out pretty decent looking, so don't judge a paint by its first coat. Or its second, or quite frankly, its third, because we just don't know how it really looks until it's done. And if you're like me and you don't want to waste any paint by pouring in a container, just dip your roller right in. But maybe don't do this while you're hungry because this low key looks like a pickle, and if you're like me and you love pickles, then it's gonna be very dangerous. Again, my drawers wouldn't actually come out, so we had to get creative. Also, I did spend some more time off camera doing some of the more detailed parts, like this wiping of the finger, a very helpful tip. And then going back in because, wow, that third coat or second coat, honestly, it wasn't counting. It wasn't counting it. And wow, those camera skills, mm, so good. 
Also, pro tip, you use a green sheet when you're using green paint. Are you keeping track? No. But are you also keeping track of the random objects moving in the background? Those are just ghosts. You're not crazy. Wow, why are you still here? Could you really watch this girl paint for this long? Girl, you're crazy. Get a life. I'm just kidding. Thank you. And when you're finally done, use the last eighth of an inch of polyurethane and coat this thing over. And yes, I know it looks like milk, but you must resist your urge to drink it. It will not end well. Also, I promise this hardware is clean. It just has dust on it. <laughs> 